the business itself still stands. And that was our last uh, checklist of the last day that we ran before the fire. But owner Wayne Shelnut says the list of damage at Wayne Smoke Shack in Superior, you can follow me back here in the kitchen, is mounting. Unfortunately flooded almost my entire kitchen. Almost all of my smokers will have to be replaced. So this wall over here is going to have to be knocked out uh, and replaced. Unfortunately, the amount of smoke damage that we got being a restaurant um, is going to keep us shut down for the indefinite future. At least five months in a best case scenario. We're we're working with insurance diligently to get everything inspected to see exactly what's going to be covered. Putting the pieces together to reopen. So it's kind of kind of disheartening. While doing the same, or his life at home. You can see the, the end of my five-year-old daughter's bed there. The home his family rented burned down in the Marshall Fire. It was quite a tragic event seeing our nursery and all of um, Christmas gifts, everything we had, we had just got for our baby that's coming here the first week of March. A baby girl is on the way. Luckily, they found a new rental in Arvada, and there is extra help for families like Wayne's. You know, a lot of businesses are going to be hurting directly after this. Rick Tillery is a spokesperson for the Small Business Administration's Office of Disaster Assistance. He says eight out of the 113 applications for disaster assistance loans for businesses have been approved. The time it takes to do so varies. It's really difficult to know what's needed from our loan officers as they process those applications. While you have to pay it back, he says it's a little different. We work with your insurance company and with the contractor to disperse money as it's needed to the contractor to help with the rebuilding of the structure. As for Wayne, they're waiting to see if they need to use that program. For now, he's just trying to stay optimistic. As terrible as this looks, uh, you know, we, we really do have so much hope for the future. The future is bright, uh, you know, for our family with a a new one on the way. Luis De Leon, 9 News. The deadline to apply as a renter, a homeowner, through the SBA's Disaster Assistance Loan Program is March 1st. For businesses, it's September 30th.